ELLIS, the European Laboratory for Learning and Intelligent Systems. Our mission is to create a diverse European network that promotes research excellence and advances breakthroughs in artificial intelligence. With units all over Europe, we are here to introduce the Amsterdam unit at the University of Amsterdam. The Amsterdam Alice unit spans a number of institutes at the Faculty of Science, such as the Informatics Institute, the Mathematics Institute, and the Institute for Logic, Language and Computation. We perform research in a broad range of topics, such as information retrieval, multimedia, computer vision, natural language processing and machine learning. We also support the Geometric Deep Learning Research Programme. Geometric Deep Learning Programme investigates the foundations of machine learning using the mathematics of geometry. And the importance of the program lies in its potential of expanding the application scope of deep learning, allowing us to explore uncharted territories. Alice has been invaluable in connecting researchers in this young field, but also in putting Europe on the map as the epicenter of geometric deep learning. And with 20 faculty members, the Amsterdam unit is active in different research fields. Through our industry labs, we get funded by companies such as Ahold Deleuze, TomTom, Qualcomm, Bosch and Elsevier. And there's more. The Amsterdam Science Park also features a startup village to spin off research ideas. My research is about natural language processing, an important part of artificial intelligence. An important component of my research is interpretability. I try to understand what models are doing when they're solving their tasks. I like working for Ellis because it allows me to connect to the best researchers in my field and also I get to contribute to building a stronger community of machine learning and AI research in Europe. We are very excited to get started. We hope that our students and researchers can spend time in labs throughout Europe and we hope that your students will visit the University of Amsterdam. My name is Ole Winter, I'm the head of uh, the Ellis unit Copenhagen. I want to tell you something about why it's important for us in Copenhagen to be part of Ellis. So in, in the Copenhagen region, there's a lot of interest in uh, artificial intelligence, both in academia, in the public sector, in the in an industry. And also uh, we are doing pretty well in, uh, in the universities in the Copenhagen region. We're doing well in the international conferences and so on. But we also realized that we reached a point where we need to do something more to go further. And this is where Ellis comes in. So I think Ellis is a very important initiative to, for us because um, without Ellis, we'll not have the opportunities to collaborate and network uh, with other researchers uh, that can inspire us to do things better. So one of the things is of course that we can send out our PhD students and we can welcome visitors from other places, but there's also this aspect of learning to do new things better. One, I, one thing is that we have learned in the recent years that we in the machine learning community have serious issues with underrepresentation of different groups, for example, we don't have enough women. And this is not something that you can solve in one day. You really need to work on it on many levels. And I think that also Ellis will be an important place where we can together find solutions and, and, and take action to get more women into our fields. And this, is, this will be important for getting uh, our field to move as a whole. Uh, we need uh, our research field to reflect the society and through Ellis we can work on doing this. Thank you. That's it. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rita Cucchiara. I'm professor at University of Modena and Reggio Emilia in Italy and I'm very proud uh, to present you the Modena Italis unit. 
that is composed actually by three subunits, one uh, in University of Modena Reggio Emilia in Modena, one in University of Florence in Firenze, and one in Cineca, the supercomputer center of Italy, one of the most important uh, in Europe and in the top 10 uh, of the supercomputers uh, in the world. Together we have, uh, with us, uh, we have also the NVIDIA AI Technical Center that is in Modena together with uh, the Cine Lab uh, of Artificial Intelligence and Intelligence System. The two research labs, uh, Image Lab in Modena and MIC in Florence, collect more than uh, uh, 50 researchers working in computer vision, machine learning, deep learning, multimedia, both uh, in uh, theoretical research and applied research with projects on smart cities and people surveillance, automotive, human-robot interaction, visual and language navigation, media search retrieval, as well as application in medical imaging, in AI for health and in AI for cultural heritage, that is one of the most important topics we have in Italy. We are very excited to work uh, with you and with uh, the other Alice unit for, ex uh, for exchange of students and PhD students, considering that both the university, Modena and Florence, have a curricula in computer engineering and uh, in uh, AI engineering. As well, we are ready to exchange uh, uh, researchers uh, and uh, professors, and we also are participating uh, to the fourth uh, projects of the Horizon 2020 ICT 48 uh, uh, program for uh, uh, centers of excellence. Um, we uh, can work uh, together also with uh, the big companies that have an uh, important industrial project with us. Come to work with us uh, in Modena, in Florence and in Cineca. Hello, my name is Wolfram Burgard, and it's my great pleasure to introduce the LS Unit Freiburg to you today. Here in Freiburg, we are focusing on the field of robot learning and work at the intersection of robotics, computer vision, and machine learning. Our unit integrates a team of 70 PhD students who closely interact with each other through reading groups and joint publications. We also jointly teach courses in the areas of artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, deep learning, and reinforcement learning. The Ellis Unit Freiburg has a fantastic infrastructure. In addition to great compute facilities, we do have plenty of robot systems that we use in our teaching and research. They include man industrial manipulators, personal robotic devices, mobile agricultural robots, mobile service robots, unmanned vehicles, aerial vehicles, rough terrain navigation robots, and a sense of car for automated driving. Let's take a quick tour and let Vera and Johan, two of our doctoral researchers, introduce their robots to you. This is our agricultural robot Bonnie Rob. We perform research on how to make agriculture more sustainable by enabling autonomous driving in production agricultural fields. This includes detecting the value crop on the field using the front-mounted sensors of the robot, as well as using those detections for robust vehicle pose estimation relative to those plants, mapping and path planning. At the laboratory, we set a strong focus on mobile robotics and autonomous driving. Therefore, we utilize multiple robotic platforms, such as the Measuron platform here on the right, that is equipped with various lasers, cameras and localization systems. In addition, we leverage miniature versions of the same system for risk-free multi-agent research. Thereby, our focus lies on long-life, unsupervised learning as well on research on related safety aspects. In less than a year from now, we will open a brand new research building, the Institute for Intelligent Machine Brain Interfacing Technology, or short IMBIT, with fantastic opportunities for research in robot learning and at the interface to neuroscience and neurotechnology. We also have tight connections with plenty of other research institutes on the national and international level. We also tightly collaborate with industry. Among the com corresponding companies are Toyota, Amazon, Bosch, Siemens, KUKA, and several others. We are super excited to be part of the Alice program, and we are looking forward to great joint projects, exchange, and interactions. Thank you, and see you soon. Hi, 
I'm Carl. Hi, I'm Miguel. Cambridge is a small town with an ancient university. Cambridge is a leader in research and education, in Europe and in the world. According to Cambridge folklore, Sir Isaac Newton formulated some of the most enduring ideas in science ever while sitting under an apple tree. Today, Cambridge is a hub for science and technology. The area around Cambridge, known as the Silicon Fen, has been home to around 1,000 startups and has labs of many international leading tech companies. The tight coupling between academia and industry is a key to its success and an ideal fit to the ethos of Ellis. The Ellis unit unites researchers from several departments, including the Department of Computer Science and Technology, the Center for Mathematical Sciences, and the Department of Engineering. The unit's research is characterized by a strong focus on using Bayesian statistics and information theory to quantify and account for uncertainty. This is key to developing intelligent systems that are data efficient, reliable, and robust. There's a lot of interest currently in AI, but its use in practice isn't that widespread. What would it take to make AI impactful? I think there are probably three parts to the answer. First, machine learning algorithms need to be automatic. After all, it is supposed to be the machine that learns, not a researcher that learns using machine learning as a tool. We need better fundamental understanding of the principles underlying learning. We need better theory. Second, algorithms need to be robust, transparent, and fair, so we can trust them and use them in real life. Third, the technology needs to be available. Only very large companies have resources to develop AI methods themselves. We need to be much better at transferring ideas into useful solutions. The Cambridge Ellis Unit is focusing on solving exactly these issues, together with our local sponsors and collaborators and our European Ellis partners. Hello. I am Christoph Lampert, head of the Ellis Unit at ISG Austria. ISG Austria is a young publicly funded institute that is committed to conducting world-class research and graduate education in the natural and mathematical sciences. It is located in Klosterneuburg, near Vienna. We are very excited to have become officially a part of the Ellis Network, which will enable more and more intense collaboration with top researchers all over Europe. Here at IST, we believe in the principle that excellence emerges not from diligent forward planning, but from giving first-class researchers the freedom and resources to focus on curiosity-driven research while exposing them to a constant influx of new technologies and ideas. Consequently, the research at our unit does not center around any predetermined topic. Instead, it is driven by each individual researcher's curiosity and dedication held together by two guiding principles, foundational thinking and interdisciplinarity. Foundational thinking means that we emphasize principles, solutions and answers typically based on mathematically rigorous foundations. We find this aspect particularly important in the current fast-paced time where artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning have become media phenomena almost as much as scientific disciplines. Our focus on interdisciplinarity reflects our conviction that machine learning and related areas cannot flourish in a vacuum. They benefit from a rich interaction with other scientific disciplines including computer science, mathematics, and neuroscience, but also physics, chemistry, or biology. Our unit is in the lucky situation to be embedded in a research institution where world-class researchers of all these fields work together and interact on a daily basis. With the integration into ELLIS, we hope to not only benefit from the opportunities that the network offers, but we would also like to give back by providing access to our experience and our facilities to the ELLIS community. Hello, my name is Stefan Roth, and I'm very happy to introduce you the Ellis Unit Darmstadt. Our unit takes on the challenge of developing intelligent systems that understand context and meaning, that can adapt flexibly to novel scenarios, much like us humans. For example, we develop deep and probabilistic models or reinforcement learning methods for machines and humans. 
Together with our Center for Cognitive Science, we emphasize the interface between human and machine intelligence. The strength of the LSU in Darmstadt is its world-class team of faculty and fellows, who are leaders across a broad range of artificial intelligence, from machine learning to natural language processing, from computer vision to robotics, as well as in AI's twin, computational cognitive science. Our unit has a bright future ahead, also thanks to the strategic investment by the state of Hesse into a new center for artificial intelligence, linking the state's universities with 20 additional AI faculty. Together with the center, our unit offers access to industry partners, on-campus labs, and startup support. We not only help shaping Ellis through participating in and leading various Ellis programs, but Theo Darmstadt also contributes its experience as coordinator of UNITE, a network of Europe's leading universities of technology. Darmstadt as a city of science is a highly dynamic and international place. It has been leading Germany's City of the Future ranking for the past five years. It is embedded within the Frankfurt Rhein-Main metropolitan area, a major hub with a multitude of companies and institutions, right in the heart of Europe. We're excited to be part of the Ellis family and look forward to working with you. Welcome to the LS Unit Tübingen. We work in machine learning, algorithms, theory and applications. This means we're in the business of turning uh, this raw material using mechanical energy, complicated device, and this machine which uses thermal energy also to produce a certain type of liquid which when infused into humans allows them to produce research information. So we turn energy into information uh, when we do machine learning. We have a whole range of outstanding machine learning researchers in Tübingen and I won't be able to tell you about all their work. But I think there's one common theme that, that runs through much of the work and that's the one of robustness. We are interested in an intelligent, a type of intelligence system that's robust, similar to how natural intelligence systems are robust. Uh, in contrast, many applications that we see in the industry now of machine learning they fall into this IID trap, uh, independent, identically distributed data, which means you gather data from one very specific problem, you build a solution that works exactly for this problem, but it breaks once the problem changes a little bit. And natural intelligence systems are much more robust in that respect. So we would like to build a more versatile intelligence, and we think to do that, we have to go beyond purely statistical modeling. So we have to go beyond statistical information, which is what machine learning builds upon traditionally. And we also have to understand the causal relationships in the data generating process that gives rise to statistical dependencies in the first place. We are very excited to be part of this group of excellent researchers in the LS network. With the LS unit in Tübingen, we are hoping to use it as a stepping stone towards an LS institute that attracts top scientists from all over the world. And in general, we believe that re-innovation happens in scientific hotspots that attract a lot of talent. And we give them a space and a multitude of opportunities to try out new things. And that's what we are determined to do here. So Tübingen is also a very beautiful place where much of Alice coordination is taking place. A lot of exciting things are happening in Alice. Believe me, I have the best overview, even if sometimes <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, but it's, in general, it's a lot of fun working with scientists and especially with machine learning scientists, with crazy scientists, <laughs> let's say. ETH Zurich participates in the European Laboratory for Learning and Intelligent Systems. The LS unit in Zurich is realized through the new ETH AI Center, which we will launch in the middle of October of this year. The center involves more than 25 core faculty members across more than five departments of ETH. 
They pursue research in many aspects of learning-based AI and engage in collaborations across all of ETH. Research directions in the center range from theoretical foundations of data science and AI to the study of principles of how to design truly reliable and trustworthy AI systems, as well as mechanisms of how AI systems can effectively interact with and support people. A major emphasis in the center are interdisciplinary applications of AI in domains such as health, the environment and sustainability, robotics, and many other areas, as well as the study of ethical, societal, and policy implications of the technology. Ellis Fellows and faculty from the Zurich unit are very active in the network, co-directing uh, two of the Ellis thematic programs, for example. The center will be located uh, in a new building, providing space to engage in truly interdisciplinary collaborations uh, and to host visitors and guests through the Ellis network. It also includes an open lab as an invitation for industry uh, to collaborate. The center aims to provide an exciting, stimulating and inc inclusive environment for top talent in AI who will be hosted as PhD and postdoc fellows. It will also provide support for AI startups, as well as a platform to engage with the general public on AI topics. Welcome to the Alice Unit Linz. My name is Sepp Hochreiter. I'm the director of the Ellis unit in Linz. Linz is a city in Austria. It's located between Salzburg and Vienna. And the Ellis unit Linz is at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz, uh, containing the institutions, Institute of Machine Learning and the Lit AI Lab, both uh, headed by me. Uh, machine learning is one of the fastest growing fields of computer science and has the potential to change human life in almost every aspect. Machine learning has recently uh, revolutionized various fields of science and also started to uh, pervade commercial applications in an unprecedented manner. The recent search of machine learning can be attributed uh, to advances in a subfield of machine learning, uh, deep learning. Our research areas are deep learning, attention-based learning and LSTMs, think about uh, transformers and word methods, reinforcement learning. We also have application areas like autonomous driving, drug design and healthcare, process optimization and logistics, and autonomous production. Uh, an LS unit in Linz uh, contributes to the coordination of machine learning excellence in Europe and establish a sustainable ecosystem locally uh, here for machine learning. The unit in Linz will serve as a reliable and solid node in the Alice network and will act as a local anchor that represents Alice, or the Alice network here locally in industry, government, and other organizations. Uh, here we also putting together in the industrial advisory board and care about about the relationship to industry. Uh, Alice and the EU project ELISE uh, are working together. We are doing lobbying via top influencers in economy and we want to present showcases of industrial applications both in Alice as well in the ELISE project. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening uh, to the introduction of the Alice Unit Linz. We would be very happy to welcome you here in our unit in Linz. Please drop by and see you soon in one of the Alice uh, organizations or Alice uh, uh, events. Bye bye. People think of Munich as just the home of the Oktoberfest, but there's so much more going on in Bavaria's capital, especially when it comes to AI. Welcome to Alice Munich. 
Here, at the Alice Munich Unit, we focus on developing novel machine learning methods and deploying them in biomedicine, computer vision and earth observation. The Alice Munich faculty brings together an outstanding team of experts that will grow over time, building a dynamic community. Our scientists tackle the great challenges of AI and the development of robust, reliable algorithms to advance machine learning as a core research field. We are committed to train the next generation of machine learning experts focusing on mathematical and algorithmic foundations of machine learning and delving into a range of societally relevant application areas. Alice Munich integrates expertise from the Technical University of Munich, one of Europe's leading universities, and Helmholtz Munich, one of Europe's leading health research centers. We also draw on the strengths of the Munich Data Science Institute and the Helmholtz AI Network. Our unit contributes to the Alice programs on computer vision, health and earth and climate and is always open and looking for opportunities. Munich offers ready-made connections to industry and society. Our goals also align and create synergies with the Barbarian AI strategy and high-tech agenda, which sets up an AI competence network to enhance knowledge transfer from research to practice. We have expertise, access to unique and relevant data, a nurturing ecosystem and the ability to generate industrial partnerships. Welcome to the Alice Unit in Prague. We are at the Czech Institute of Informatics, Robotics and Cybernetics of the Czech Technical University. It's a modern institute which gives us excellent conditions and infrastructure for both basic research and collaboration with industry. The unit brings together several lead scientists and their teams with the shared objective to address some of the key scientific challenges in artificial intelligence and generate innovations with positive impact on the economy and society. In my research, I'm interested in developing intelligent systems that can automatically understand complex visual inputs. We are investigating machine learning models grounded in the geometrical and physical structure of the world and learnable without direct supervision. Uh, I'm interested in developing intelligent machines that we can uh, communicate with using natural language. Uh, for that, I believe that we will need to develop a new generation of algorithms for unsupervised learning. I'm interested in answering basic questions in algebra, geometry and optimization which have practical impact in computer vision and robotics. For example, we study how to reconstruct 3D objects from their images in order to provide applications for 3D reconstruction, 3D mapping, special effects and autonomous driving. My research interests are in reinforcement learning. We have been investigating sample efficient algorithms that allow robots to learn from experience and so to optimize their performance over time. Besides deep learning, we have been developing novel algorithms based on genetic programming that allow us to construct transparent models based on analytic equations. My research combines traditional 3D computer vision techniques with modern machine learning algorithms. More precisely, I'm interested in developing human level spatial understanding that will enable the next generation of intelligent systems such as mobile robots and augmented and virtual reality applications. We are also helping to organize LS PhD and fellowship programs. We are always looking for outstanding students, postdocs and researchers and welcome exciting collaborations. We are the LS student in Prague. We are building the AI for the future. From technologies fundamentally changing how we interact with everything around us to applications that will transform healthcare and finance, that will change how we see the world and how we move within it. The next steps in AI are happening here in Oxford, writing algorithms that inform the decisions our doctors and nurses make, using machine learning to infer water table levels with smart pumps, Robots that take you to see your friends. Chatbots that help you navigate your surroundings. Leading conversations in ethics, governance and privacy. And around the effect automation is having on jobs. 
Oxford researchers are at the cutting edge of the AI revolution, and it is a revolution. I'm Steve Roberts, I'm an information engineer, and I'm one of the Ellis directors in Oxford. Oxford's got an incredibly long history, stretching back almost a thousand years. But in the last 20 years, there's been a quiet revolution taking place. And Oxford has a wealth of talent which is taking part in that revolution. Probably the biggest thing that we see are people involved in AI and machine learning coming from very different backgrounds. We bring together colleagues who are philosophers and statisticians, physicists and engineers, economists, and people involved in business and accounting and finance. Yet they all have a passion and a belief that AI can solve the biggest problems in their fields. And together, we can solve some of the biggest problems on the planet. Why I am really excited by Ellis is the fusion, not just of our talent locally in Oxford and across the universities in the UK, but across the whole of Europe. Having worked in many institutions in Europe, I see a breadth and depth of talent, which I think is unmatched anywhere else in the world. Yet we must come together and join in union to make the world listen to what we have to say about AI and machine learning. So, hello, my name is Yi Wei. Um, I am a machine learning researcher based at the Department of Statistics in Oxford. I am also one of the co-directors of the of the Alice unit uh, at Oxford. Um, I spend actually half my time in Oxford and the other half of my time in DeepMind. I think Oxford is a, um, an excellent place for doing machine learning and AI research, and you know, not just in terms of applied research, but also in terms of theoretical research as well. So at Oxford, you know, in the stats department, uh, that, and uh, there's quite a lot of different uh, machine learning researchers uh, as part of the Alice unit that works on theoretical foundations of, of, of machine learning. Hi, my name is Mike Waldridge. I'm Head of Department of Computer Science at the University of Oxford, uh, and I've been an AI researcher for the last 30 years. Uh, and it's my pleasure to uh, be able to acknowledge our role at Ellis and talk a little bit about what we can contribute and what we hope to be able to, uh, to gain from being part of Ellis. So Oxford is an ancient university and it's famous as a collegiate university. Um, what that means is the traditional academic barriers between different subjects don't exist at Oxford. We're used to working not just in our own departments with others from other subjects uh, and from, uh, from, from uh, across the whole spread of the academic spectrum. And that I think is what's unique about what Oxford has to offer Ellis. We aren't a tiny narrowly focused group. We have incredible breadth of activity, right from philosophical foundations of our field through to direct deployed applications, many of which uh, uh, have found a role in, in the 2020 pandemic, uh, where Oxford is playing a leading role internationally nationally in responding to, uh, to the pandemic. So it's what I think is unique about Oxford is it's that spread of activity. But what that spread of activity tells us is that we can't be inward looking. We need other voices. We need to be able to talk to other people. We need to be able to work with other people. We're, and we need to be able to work with our colleagues uh, in Europe. And Ellis gives us a wonderful framework uh, to be able to do that. So we're looking forward to be part of Ellis and to participating fully in the spread of activities that Ellis has to offer.
The AI revolution fueled by progress in machine learning is leading to autonomous agents that are able to perceive their surroundings as well as understand and interact with them. Their presence is becoming ubiquitous in intelligent machines from industrial manufacturing to automotive and industrial robots. The LS unit at Politecnico di Torino will work on machine learning based challenges on safe and secure sensing machine. It builds on the excellence at Politecnico di Torino on visual and multimodal applied learning, graph learning for sensing and security, cyber security and safety in machine learning software and hardware. The unit will be hosted by Politecnico di Torino, home of the Italian National PhD on AI and Industry 4.0 in the city of Turin that will be home of the main hub of the Italian Institute of Artificial Intelligence. The unit will be directed by Barbara Caputo and with women making up 50% of the faculty, the unit wants to be a driving force for promoting gender balance within Ellis. My name is Chris Williams and I'm the director of the Ellis Unit at the School of Informatics in the University of Edinburgh in the UK. Due to the pandemic, non-essential staff are not yet allowed back in our university buildings, so I've prepared this video from home. Edinburgh has a long tradition of work on artificial intelligence going back to the 1960s when it was one of the few centres in the world working on AI. The School of Informatics currently has great strength in a wide variety of areas in AI, including perception, reasoning, machine learning, robotics, natural language processing, the study of natural systems, and properties of AI systems like safety, trustworthiness, and fairness. The Edinburgh Ellis Unit will initially focus on machine learning and natural language processing research going on in the school, although we expect to broaden this focus over time. The goals of the Ellis Unit at Edinburgh are to carry out world-class research in AI, to train top international students and postdocs, and to generate positive impact in science and society. The unit develops new methodology, often based on generalizing the demands of cutting-edge application areas in science and medicine. In machine learning, topics of interest include flexible probabilistic models of high-dimensional data, solving inference problems in scientific data analysis, and meta-learning and transfer. In natural language processing and speech technology, focus includes language understanding tasks, text generation, including machine translation, and developing methods for low-resource languages and domains. The school currently hosts several centres for doctoral training, or CDTs, in AI areas. These are large government-funded programmes, each supporting more than 50 PhD students over five years. The Ellis Unit, the relevant centres are in the EPSRC CDT in Data Science, UKRI CDT in Biomedical AI, and the UKI CDT in Natural Language Processing. The unit also has extensive collaborations with many companies and has founded several startups. So we look forward to collaborating with other LS units in advancing research in machine learning and AI. Hello, my name is Mario Figueiredo and I'm the head of LAMLIS, Lisbon Unit for Learning and Intelligent Systems. The newly created LS unit located at the Instituto Superior Técnico, which is the engineering school of the University of Lisbon. Instituto Superior Técnico, or Técnico for short, is the number one school for engineering, science and technology in Portugal, with more than 10,000 students and approximately 800 faculty members, which was funded more than 100 years ago at the beginning of the 20th century. Most of the research work in machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics and related areas at Técnico is carried out within three institutes, Institute for Telecommunications, INESC ID, and Institute for Systems and Robotics, which came together to create LAMLIS, the Lisbon Unit for Learning and Intelligence Systems. One of the highlights of the work in artificial intelligence and machine learning at Técnico is a very rich spin-off community of which LAMLIS will benefit strongly. Another highlight of the work in AI and ML at Técnico is the now widely known LXMLS or Lisbon Machine Learning Summer School, which had its 10th edition this year and which had more than 2,000 attendees over its decade of existence. The LAMLIS agenda is quite simple and broad. Our goal is to create human interacting, 
explainable AI systems with three main pillars, human language technologies, cognitive and social robotics, and computational biology and health applications, all supported on efficient, reliable, and theory grounded machine learning. The founding team of LUMLIS is this group of 15 people covering a wide range of seniority level and research interests within machine learning, artificial intelligence, and related areas. To know more about LUMLIS, please visit our website, which is already online at lumlis.technico.eulishboa.pt. Thank you. Welcome to Alice Life Heidelberg. Alice Life is bridging the German Cancer Research Center, the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, and the University of Heidelberg, all located in one city. The unit is dedicated to advancing AI methods in the life sciences. My name is Oliver Steke, and together with my colleagues Anna Kreschuk and Björn Omer, we're going to tell you about our vision for the unit. Our aim in establishing the unit has been to build an active two-way bridge between the basic AI and machine learning research and the new opportunities and new scientific questions and new applications which are now arising from the growing and growing amounts of biomedical data that is being acquired. So we work on a very big range of biomedical data, bridging the scales from genomics all the way to animal behavior. Our unit combines the knowledge and practical expertise from all three institutions, from fundamental AI and machine learning research over to biomedical research and the application of AI in healthcare and medicine. Welcome to the EPFL Alice unit based in Lausanne. The mission of Alice is to enable Europe to shape how machine learning and modern AI change the world. We believe the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Lausanne, EPFL, represents the ideal environment to host an Alice unit. The EPFL has a strong research reputation and track record in AI and machine learning. Further, Alice aims to have an economic impact and create jobs in Europe. The EPFL has built a whole ecosystem around entrepreneurship by housing startups in its innovation park. Being the founding Ellis unit is a unique opportunity for us at EPFL to even more closely engage with the larger Ellis effort to build bridges within the AI communities in Europe. The EPFL Center for Intelligent Systems is a platform for tech innovation and cutting edge research from biological to artificial systems, and we believe our collective strengths in this area will also be an asset to the Ellis unit. Since 2000, over 300 startups have been created at EPFL. What is unique about the EPFL Alice Unit Lausanne is that it is hosted by the Center for Intelligent Systems at EPFL. CS is a joint initiative that seeks to advance research and practice in the strategic field of intelligent systems by bringing together top researchers and scientists, including the members of EPFL Alice Unit. The research is not happening in isolation, so the ELIS initiative unifies a lot of the great AI research in, in Europe. Uh, I'm particularly excited about some of the strengths of Switzerland and Europe in, in terms of AI research to make it more privacy aware and more accessible and fair. So I'm quite excited about uh, EPFL joining this ELIS initiative with our Center for Intelligent Systems. My current research focus is to help to establish the mathematical and scientific foundations of deep learning. And the EPFL Alice unit, together with CIS, is providing a wonderful ground for colleagues from computer science, engineering, math and physics to mingle and collaborate and attack together the most challenging theoretical questions. The EPFL Alice unit has actually a very strong presence in this loop. And CIS actually is the natural place to, to host the LS unit because it federates similar goals within EPFL. And as a result, I expect a strong synergy between LS across Europe and EPFL CIS. The EPFL LS unit was established at the end of 2019. It has over 30 participating professors from different faculties of EPFL, all very excited about being part of this pan-European initiative and community.
So my name is Klaus Robert Müller. Uh, I run the LS unit in Berlin, and I would like to tell you a bit about our unit, the, the wonderful team that we have there. Uh, there's a bunch of fellows. Everybody, um, you know, is coming from different fields. Uh, all very interested in machine learning, and of course, we're growing. So first of all, we um, focus on fundamental. Um, problems in machine learning theory and um, in particular among other things uh, explainable AI um, and deep learning and in particular also scalable machine learning. This comes from the fact that we are embedding uh, embedded in a larger environment. Um, um, we have in Berlin the Big Data Center, Berlin Big Data Center and the Berlin Machine Learning Center. Both are rather large centers that worry about big data and machine learning and its intersection. So I think nowadays it is time to rethink machine learning and database management systems to really connect them if we really want to go to the next level of processing high amounts of data. And this is what we do here from the theoretical and also from the practical side. On top of these two centers that I mentioned, we have a number of excellence centers in robotics and in mathematics. Um, and Berlin is a very, very uh, lively research environment, I can tell you that. What is also interesting to say is that our focus is on machine learning in the sciences. Um, and here we are tightly connected to the Bernstein network, where we have also a Bernstein center. Um, so the Berlin brain computer interface is something that um, we enjoy doing for a while um, and still do. Um, then um, we have done a lot in um, uh, medicine, um, various kinds, recently in particular digital pathology. And um, one quite unusual thing for machine learning is, uh, people is that we work with people in, in digital humanities, in history, and also in literature. And that is a you know small growing growing plant, but it's very interesting. Um, finally, uh, we have been doing a lot of work together with physics and chemistry. Um, so basically, establishing machine learning. Uh, for quantum chemistry uh, for the last 10 years or so. Um, another thing that also you know, comes with being a lively city is that we have a very active startup scene. It's perhaps one of the most active ones in Europe. And um, our Ellis unit and also the AI centers that, that we run in Berlin are very tightly connected to the startups. Um, to the companies uh, in Berlin or in Germany, Europe, um, and also to the wide range of, of um, research that is happening. As, as many of us are actually founding companies as well. Um, so with that, I'm super happy to be in the LS network. Um, we are uh, looking forward to great collaboration, to great exchange. Uh, with a wonderful and very strong network. Um, so I'm happy to be in the family. Thank you. Tel Aviv University is located in the vibrant city of Tel Aviv that is also the center of Israel's high-tech industry. The University is proud to be part of the Ellis Network and will contribute to Ellis activity via organizing events, hosting Ellis students and faculty, and driving research on topics that are at the core of the Ellis mission. The Blavatnik School of Computer Science has a strong commitment to AI, further strengthened by support from the Yandex Machine Learning Initiative and the Blavatnik Research Fund. We have a large group of researchers working in AI who will be part of the unit. The quality of research at Tel Aviv has been recognized by multiple prestigious grants and best paper awards. Our unit will study core topics in AI, including the theory of deep learning, algorithms for semantic understanding of language and images, and algorithms for fair and transparent AI. 
We're excited about joining ELS, working together on AI research in Europe. Founded in 1425, KU Leuven has been a center of learning for almost six centuries. Today, it's Belgium's highest ranked university, as well as one of the oldest and most renowned universities in Europe. As a comprehensive research university spanning the humanities, medicine, physical sciences, and engineering, a very large number of applications of machine learning are represented in the various divisions of the university. With the recent launch of the KU Leuven Institute for Artificial Intelligence, the university has affirmed its support for AI research. The Institute provides an excellent platform for LS faculty members to impact applications and AI research in the wider university community. Our core research on machine learning, computer vision, natural language processing, and hardware for machine learning takes place within the departments of electrical engineering and computer science, both within the Faculty of Engineering Science. The focus of the unit is to develop a fast conduit between key application areas, core machine learning technologies, and real-time implementations on edge devices. Hi, my name is Sien Moons. I'm representing natural language processing within the KU Leuven Alice unit. We work on natural language understanding, language generation, and machine learning models that use limited supervision. Computer vision, natural language processing, and machine learning have made tremendous progress in recent years. Still, there remain important challenges to be tackled. Think, for instance, about computation on the edge, using limited hardware to apply or even train our models. Leuven is located just 25 minutes from Brussels and provides an attractive platform for impacting the European conversation on AI research and policy. We're excited to be part of ELLIS and its accompanying opportunities for collaboration, impact and debate. We are happy to be part of ELLIS and are looking forward for future collaborations. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Perret and I'm a CNRS researcher in the math department of the Ecole Normale Supérieure. I am the director of this Paris ELIS unit. Our vision for this unit is to be as open as possible in order to help a lot of people to create new exciting projects. This will include teaching programs, conferences and student exchange. The artificial intelligence ecosystem of Paris is huge. It already integrates a lot of different institutions over a very wide geographic area. The goal of this unit is not to create yet another institute, but rather to help all the people in this institution to collaborate within the ELIS network. There are in particular three important research institutes, which currently covers non-overlapping geographic areas, SCAI, Data AI, and Prairie. The last institute, Prairie, is the Paris Artificial Intelligence Institute. It is one of the first French Institute of Artificial Intelligence, which were created as part of the National French Initiative on AI. My name is Gérard Bio. I am full professor of statistical learning at Sorbonne University. I have been appointed head of SKY, the Sorbonne Center for Artificial Intelligence in 2019. SKY is an institute of Sorbonne University able to federate the communities of the three faculties of Arts and Humanities, Science and Engineering and Medicine, as well as many other partners of our university. Our ambition is to contribute significantly to the excellence of interdisciplinary research and education in artificial intelligence by promoting exchanges between researchers, students and industry. First, it was essential to be part of the Paris Service Node, first in order to strengthen the connections to the Paris forces in AI, one of the most dynamic AI ecosystems in Europe, but maybe more importantly, to participate in the construction of a European vision for machine learning and AI with our international colleagues from ELIS. We are very proud. Dear ELIS colleagues, I am Bertrand Thirion, researcher at Henria Saclay, head of the Pietal team and of the Data AI Institute. You may have heard recently from Paris Saclay University, as it is the first in the world in mathematics and at the 14th position of Shanghai ranking overall. Dataya is the AI Institute of Paris Saclay University. It gathers hundreds of researchers from more than 50 labs and addresses many aspects of AI, 
ranging from math to industrial applications. We particularly address human-computer interactions, natural language processing, and AI for signal processing. We are also very active in the legal and ethical aspects of AI, as we have taken part in many European initiatives to design a European-level regulation of AI. Together with our colleagues from Paris downtown of the Prairie and Sky Institute, we want to develop collaborations within ELIS to develop the next generation of safe AI tools, particularly in the fields of AI for life science, AI in critical systems, and ethical AI. I am Massimiliano Pontil, I am the director of the ELIS unit in Genoa, which is a joint effort between the Italian Institute of Technology and the University of Genoa. The unit is formed by 13 core people from different disciplines, broadly working on machine learning and its applications. We have computer scientists, engineers, mathematicians and neuroscientists. The unit has also an excellent reputation in industrial applications and technology transfer. Our research vision is to bind together our experimental and theoretical work, enabling synergies between foundational machine learning research and specific application areas of science and engineering, particularly robotics, computational neuroscience and machine learning for health. Our ultimate goal is to understand how artificial and natural intelligence systems work. Research problems we are interested in go all the way from mathematical aspects of machine learning including inverse problems, numerical optimization and mathematical statistics, to mainstream areas like kernel methods, online learning, bounded algorithms, meta-learning and algorithmic fairness. More experimental areas include computer vision, data-driven approaches to robotics and human-computer interactions, and machine learning application to clinical data analysis and other health-related domains. Finally, we are interested in interactions between cognitive and computational neuroscience and machine learning, particularly in relation to the study of how biological brains make decisions. We are thrilled to join the ELIS network to host researchers from other sites and work together on new exciting avenues of research. We are committed to make the Genoa ELIS unit a key reference node in Europe, starting from our work on the foundations of machine learning. We support our students and postdocs to become leaders in creating new machine learning theories and algorithms, and ultimately new AI technologies, which will help improve our society and foster the European economy. Welcome to the Nijmegen Alice Unit. Our unit is situated at Radboud University Nijmegen, the Netherlands. We are a broad university and we basically bring together different machine learning researchers across the different faculties. Our mission is to advance applied and theoretical machine learning research and to educate the next generation of researchers. Together we share 30 years of experience and we form one of the leading hubs for machine learning research in the Netherlands. Our theoretical research focuses on the development of new algorithms for learning, inference and control in complex systems. In the development of these algorithms, we draw inspiration from different scientific disciplines, such as neuroscience and physics. An example of our research uh, on quantum and physics-based machine learning is the research that we try to build uh, devices at atomic scale. In this way, we address the problems of energy efficiency to go to the ultimate uh, small scale of, of matter and also address the problem of on-chip learning. So we're able to build devices where single atoms play the role of individual neurons and they're connected in networks. And these networks can learn by changing their synaptic strengths on-chip because these physical devices implement different timescales where the slow timescale can play the role of the learning. Our applied machine learning research advances various domains in science and society. These range from enabling new discoveries in astrophysics and particle physics to automating medical imaging in the global south. We also develop new ideas such as image filters that protect online privacy. Our goal is to create responsible human-centered machine learning solutions that benefit society. Our LS unit has access to excellent technical facilities ranging from custom-built GPU clusters 
to advanced robotics platforms. We also seek to collaborate with industrial partners to drive new innovations. Furthermore, by supporting spin-off companies, we aim to bring our machine learning solutions to the end user. We are situated on a green campus in a beautiful part of the Netherlands. We invite you to visit us and foster new collaborations to advance scientific discoveries and technological innovation. Hello, I'm Bernd Schiele, the director of the Alice Unit Saarbrücken. In the unit, we jointly work on the foundations for enhanced functionalities of AI systems, as well as the pressing needs for security, privacy, and trustworthiness that arise from AI systems. The Alice Unit Saarbrücken brings together six Alice Fellows from four institutions in CS on or near Saarland Informatics campus, the Max Planck Institute for Informatics, the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems, Saarland University and CISPA Helmholtz Center for Information Security. These four world-leading institutions are forming one of the strongest CS research centers in Europe, including, for example, 22 recipients for ERC grants. Computer vision and computer graphics, driven by machine learning, are key for many innovations like autonomous driving and novel applications in health. Saarbrücken is recognized for both cutting-edge research in these areas as well as for the commitment to make these advancements comply with our societal and European values. Also, our faculty have conducted pioneering research in the ethics of data-driven decision-making, publishing an influential work on non-discriminating and fair ML. We believe that this holistic approach is needed to ensure that advancements in AI will be used for the greater good of society. The faculty of the LSU Unit Saarbrücken has a long and successful history of collaborating internationally including over 25 Alice Fellows already today. In our view, the network of Alice units is a great opportunity to strengthen collaborations across Europe in AI, machine learning and beyond. The Alice Unit at University College London comprises 29 faculty across three departments, Computer Science, the Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit, and the Department of Statistics. I'll briefly talk about the Gatsby Unit, then pass to Ioana Manoropoulou, who covers statistics, and Mark Dysonrod, who will talk about CS. The Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit was established at UCL in 1998, directed by Jeffrey Hinton. Research at the department has contributed to many breakthroughs in theoretical neuroscience, machine learning, and the foundations of AI, with former members establishing world-leading research centers in the UK and globally, including two of the founders of DeepMind. Research in the Department of Statistical Science is based on a blend of individual research groups and multidisciplinary collaborations. Our mission is to identify, develop, and apply statistical foundations and methods for the physical, social, environmental, and medical sciences. The application areas are quite broad, ranging from health and environment through to transport, energy systems, and remote sensing. But even though we have very diverse research interests, we share a belief in the unity of statistics and its importance for scientific advancement in real-world applications. UCL's computer science department is a global leader in experimental computer science research and top ranked for high quality research in the UK. We recognize the importance of computer systems in commerce, industry, government and science. Using computers, we create innovative technologies that change lives for the better. Specifically, machine learning research has been traditionally very strong at UCL and our MSc degrees in machine learning are among the most sought after in the world. Our brand new AI center serves as the driving engine of methodological AI development across UCL, and it is part of UCL's wider AI strategy, which seeks to position AI as a force for good. The 
Technion as Israel's oldest university has played a key role in developing Israel's technology as the startup nation. The Technion is located in northern Israel in the diverse city of Haifa, where the Mediterranean Sea meets the Carmel Mountains. The LS unit will advance the machine learning and AI, will have a lasting impression on the high-tech industry in Israel, and will strengthen the academic connections to machine learning and research in Europe. The LS unit at the Technion is focused on three main areas of research. Foundations of machine learning, reinforcement learning, and applications of AI to healthcare, visual recognition, and language processing. The unit relies on a diverse group of researchers in these fields. We are excited to be a part of the ELIS community and invite our European colleagues to actively collaborate with us. Hello, I am Robert Babushka. I'm the head of the ELIS unit Delft. Hi, I'm Franz Oliuk. And I'm Jens Kogo, and we're happy to present the Alice Unit Delft. Alice Delft is part of Delft University of Technology. As a technical university, TU Delft is organized around technical areas of applications with faculties such as aerospace engineering, industrial design engineering, mechanical maritime and materials engineering, technology policy and management, and so forth. In virtually all these areas, AI and machine learning has started to play a crucial role. AI and learning research is hence integrated in all different faculties, as well as in across faculty institutions such as the Robotics Institute, Delft Data Science, AI Tech, and so forth. This means we carry out basic research and also apply it to societal and industrial challenges. The faculty of Alice Delft bring experience in many fields with some core strengths on sequential decision making, for instance, reinforcement learning and scheduling, and with applications and domains like robotics, vision, self-driving cars, smart energy systems, transportation, smart cities, and cybersecurity, strength on interaction, such as multi-agent or multi-actor decision-making, with applications such as human AI interaction and collaboration, crowdsourcing and web technologies, and on machine learning and data analysis techniques for bioinformatics, particularly in the context of healthy living, disease diagnosis and prevention, and microbiological industrial processes. Finally, a unique characteristic of Delft University of Technology is the human aware context. We believe that the Delft engineer designs solutions with an inherent focus on humans as part of the overall systems, like airline pilots, process operators, car drivers, and with a focus on human values, such as autonomy, privacy, and responsibility. All right, well, we look forward to collaborating with everybody towards these goals in the Alice Network. Hello, I am Samuel Kaski. Here in the Ellis Unit Helsinki, we do probabilistic modeling and Bayesian inference for AI systems that work well with humans. For that, they need to be understandable, trustworthy and data efficient. The Ellis Unit Helsinki starts with an outstanding set of scholars and fellows working together on fundamental machine learning and AI. They are embedded in the much larger Finnish Center for Artificial Intelligence, which gives connections to the 100 or so professors working on AI and its applications more broadly. FKI already has and offers to the unit ready-made connections to the industry and the society. It may not seem obvious, given how spacious it is on this campus, that within a 10 km radius from where we stand, there is the largest concentration of high-tech companies and research centers in the Nordic countries. And all this in a country with the happiest people in the world for third year in a row, which is not hard to believe given the beautiful summer. Let's not film here in November. In Ellis, we are team players. We contribute to the programs and are open to new collaboration. We are also leading the LEs network, which will serve the LEs community. I will be glad to work with you in LEs.
Hello, I am Nuria Oliver. Welcome to the Ellis Unit Alicante. The Ellis Unit Alicante is located in the Mediterranean city of Alicante, which is one of the friendliest cities in Spain to live in, with an outstanding quality of life. It will be located in the campus of the University of Alicante, with connections with the rest of the universities in the region. Its name is the Institute of Humanity-Centric Artificial Intelligence, and it focuses in three research areas. First, the computational modeling of human individual and aggregate behavior via machine learning techniques. Second, the development of intelligent interactive systems, and particularly intelligent mobile systems and personal assistants. And third, the risks and limitations of machine learning-based decision-making systems such as algorithmic discrimination and opacity, the lack of veracity, the subliminal manipulation of human behavior, or the computational violation of privacy. The Ellis Unit Alicante is unique because it is the only Ellis Unit that has been created from scratch as a private, not-for-profit foundation, thanks to the generosity of 38 donors. It is also the only unit in Spain by the Mediterranean Sea with many direct flights from Finland, especially in November. Within the Ellis network, our unit is an important node because it tackles a complementary topic to other units in full alignment with the human-centric machine learning Ellis research program. It is fully committed and supportive of the Ellis mission. It will host students, researchers, and collaborate with other units, and it will help develop a strong local ecosystem on human-centric AI. Counts with stable funding of 1.5 million euro per year by the Valencian government, and it is part of the Valencian strategy on artificial intelligence. We are hiring. Would you like to join us? <laughs>